Hello everyone, how is everyone doing in this mesh self here? Today we are playing Trivial Pursuit. Now Trivial Pursuit, if you guys don't know, it is basically a quiz show uh, showing off how smart you can be and on my quest to prove to you guys that I'm not a total idiot. Uh, let's, you know, play Trivial Pursuit and show that I, I actually am kind of smart. I'm joking, I'm an idiot. Okay, we're not gonna do online because people will just cheat online. Okay, let's just play on party mode. Let's just do five rounds, 45 minutes, come on guys. What sort of questions do we want? Do we want classic questions or family questions? What the shit does that even mean? Or I can be a woman with a sun hat, look at this. Oh hey, I'm so smart. <laughs> Oh, a guy, a photographer. And to take a picture of her selfie, dude. Uh, oh, we got like a, like a explorer woman. I know all the questions. Uh, oh, we got a chef. Oh, I may be a chef, but I got the gold medal for being so smart. Oh, oh we got a little girl. <laughs> Uh, oh, we got some uh, rude dude. Uh, look at this crazy outfit. Yeah, hey, dude. Uh, my pants are so low. Look at my pants. All right. Oh, we got some girl. All right. So which which one do I want to be? I kind of want to be the chef. Look at him. He looks kind of cool. All right. Whatever. Just hurry up and start the shitty game. Time for another oh, episode an, of Trivial Pursuit. Another episode of Trivial Pursuit Live. Ooh, look at this logo. Damn. Guys, you excited? <gasps> what? Look at this game show. Damn. Okay. Let's see who's in the game tonight. Oh, who could it be? Player one. Oh, player one, Brandon. Hey, how you doing? Player two. Oh, hey, how you guys? How you doing? Oh, player three. Oh, must have moved. Hey, guys, let's take a picture. Correct answers to questions score you points, and points earn wedges. Wedges? I love wedges. Each player competes oh. to win wedges over five rounds. Oh, okay. Five rounds, okay. The first player to collect all six wedges oh. wins the game. Wins the game? Okay. Oh. Trivia time. Oh, trivia time. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's the first round. Guys, is everyone excited as me? I hope they are. <laughs> All right, here we go. Customs and cultures, <gasps> geography. landmarks and places, what? geography. Oh, damn. That's, that's, that's hard. What is Europe's largest budget airline? Uh, <laughs> what? EasyJet or Ryanair? It, it's got to be EasyJet. Come on. EasyJet. Right? It was Ryanair. I'm... I'm a dumb shit. All right, next question. Which ancient Egyptian city was home to one of the most famous classical libraries in the world? Why are they answering so fast? Um, I don't know. Uh, Giza? I, get, I think? No? Uh, Alexandria. I don't know. Egyptian stuff. Hobbies right. and food, Sport, oh. fun and games. Oh, so Let's it. tackle oh. sports, sports and leisure. I should be good at this, guys. All right, come on now. Which World War II vehicle became commercially popular in the post-war years? Uh, okay, it's not going to be a tractor, because that's a tractor, so it's got to be a Jeep. It's got to be a Jeep, right? Jeep? There you go. Why would it be amphibious landing craft? I've never seen one of those ever. All right, guys, we're on the board. We have 400 points. All right. Oh, oh, that. Oh, RJ got three questions in a row. Interesting. Interesting. That's not interesting. It's a dumb shit. Technology, oh, oh, biology, oh, chemistry, uh, space. Jeez. It's all here okay. in science and all right. nature. All right, shut up, woman. All right, which was the final planet on the space probe Cassini's journey? What? What's the space probe Cassini? I don't know. Jupiter? Maybe? No? I was gonna pick Saturn. I was actually gonna pick Saturn. Why am I an idiot? Last question uh, of the oh, round. Oh, guys, I've this barely got anything. This is your chance to turn things around, oh. player one. Oh, I get to pick the category two? Do I want entertainment, or arts, and leisure? Uh, entertainment? Film, music, television, oh. it's all in come on. entertainment. All right, come on. I know entertainment, guys. I'm pretty entertaining, aren't I? <laughs> all right, which former member of Destiny's Child teamed up with Jay-Z to declare she was crazy in love? Um, Kelly Rowland, maybe? It wasn't Beyonce. Um, oh, I put Beyonce because I, because I thought, you know, maybe it was Beyonce. <laughs> All right, cool. There, there we go. That last question was worth way more. <laughs> and then now I'm second. All right, Skip got the most correct answers this round. No one gives a shit, Skip. All right, why are you gloating? All right, guys. All right, I, I did okay on the first round. Um, second. second? I got that last question right, and now for some reason I'm second. All right, guys, and here we go. It is time for round two. It's grab bag. Oh, it's grab bag. Let's take bag. a look at the rules. Uh, what's that? But be careful. Uh, Get one answer wrong, oh. and you're out until Ooh. the next question. Ooh, okay, I like that one. I mean, this is unfair. I'm playing against computers. They know the answers. History. history. Oh, no, I forgot about history. Which of these countries use the death penalty? Holy crap. Um, <laughs> that's a dark question. Question. Um, okay, the UK. The UK! Why, why would we do that here? All right, here we go. Russia? Russia? <laughs> why would they do that in Russia? Okay, I'm pretty sure... Um, Yemen? Sudan? Okay, yeah. Okay, I think Yemen, maybe. 
as well. North Korea, definitely. Yeah, I should have picked North Korea, damn it. All right, it's got to be either Yemen or Algeria. I want to say the Algerians are a little bit more civilized. So Yemen? Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what the hell's happening in Yemen, guys. Next one, what could it be? Oh, he's thinking. Oh, Ch Iran? Iran? You just, what? Uh, oh, he got a wedge. Out of all these countries, it's got to be Algeria. Maybe even China. I actually have no... I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be shocked if it was China. Algeria? Oh, my goodness. Okay, that was just a guess. France? China? Okay, yeah. Okay, South Africa. No. Uh, the USA? Oh, yeah. The U oh, but it's okay. All right. So, I, 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 I came first place. So, uh, that was good. So, which of these locations are U.S. national parks? Never even been to a U.S. national park. How the shit am I meant to know this? Okay, so the Grand... Teton, whatever the shit that is. Is the Grand Canyon a national park? I think Peak District sounds like a national park. Oh, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> All right, whatever, guys. All right, so what? I got it wrong. All right, I'm not even American. How am I supposed to know about American parks? Oh, well, Grand Canyon was there. I should have picked that, goddammit. So, next question. Which of these are among the 10 most valuable sports teams in the world? Okay, I should get this one. Okay, 10 most valuable. Manchester City, no. All right, Real Madrid. Yep, I, I, that, that's an obvious one. Uh, I want to say Barcelona has to be there. Okay, there we go, Barcelona. So, Skip is a sports fan, so he must know this one. Come on, Skip. Oh, the New York Yankees. That was a good one. Here we go, Ernesto. What are you going to pick? Hmm, what should I pick? Uh, I should pick uh, Carolina Panthers. Oh, God damn it! Manchester United, of course. Yeah, that's a, that's a given. All right, here we go, Skip. What's the next one? Uh, Boston Celtics? Uh, what the hell? What? All right, I'm the only one left then. I won. Uh, I think Chelsea is because, you know, that's my football team. No, it's the New York Giants. I knew it. Anyway, I won that round. So which of these scientists have received a Nobel Prize? What? Uh, Annie Jump Canyon? Nope, <laughs> not her. <laughs> uh, Nikola Tesla? Nope, not the Tesla guy. <laughs> Albert Einstein did? Wow. Did Stephen Hawking ever win a Nobel Prize? I don't think he did. Thomas Edison? No, I don't know why I picked that. Skip really cleaned up on that one. <laughs> yeah, I did, dude. Hey, did you see that? I cleaned up. <laughs> Shut up, Skip. All right, no one likes you. Oh, it's a last question. Turn things around, <gasps> oh, it's the big one, guys. This one's worth the most. Arts and literature. <gasps> and he's gonna pick arts and literature. All right, which of these instruments are in the strings family? Oh, this has got to be easy. Come on now. All right, here we go. Uh, it's gonna go piano. What? Piano? The viola? Uh, the guitar, right? Because that's a string. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not that. I'm not a tone idiot. All right. Skip. Come on. Get it wrong. Get it wrong. You dumb shit. Get it wrong. Oh, the tuba. What the hell? The tuba's like the. The clarinet. What? The clarinet's a flute. A tom tom. <laughs> Isn't that like a a GPS? All right. It's my turn. Um. It's not an O B. Uh. The cello. Yeah. That's a. I I I know what a cello is. Um. Oh, it's my turn again. Everyone's out. Um. What's a glockenspiel? Uh, a bassoon? Uh, <laughs> a piccolo? <laughs> no, I don't know. It was uh, a zither and a mandolin. Okay. Whatever, guys. Fourth place. Oh, fourth place. Stupid, this guy. Third. Oh, this guy's in third. In oh, but I'm in second. But in stupid lead. skip is first. All right, guys. But it's okay. We're only just behind. All right, next wedge is at 6,000. Come on, come on, guys. I need this wedge. Round three. Here we go. What's this round, though? Is it, uh, is it different? It's switchagories. Switchagories? Here's how it works. Uh, Take turns picking a category. Uh-huh. And then? Answer correctly to uh, score points. Uh, obviously. All right, so it's my category. Choose so I have to get this right one, for bonus. bonus points All right, I would, I'm pretty good at history and sports, but maybe sports, sports I know a little bit more. Maybe not. In rugby union, which country joined the five nations in 2000 to make it six nations? Um, Italy? Oh, wow. That was, <laughs> I guessed it, but hell yeah, hell yeah. I got, oh, oh, I got double points. Damn. Oh, looks like, oh, I forgot the bonus points. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Player two. Oh, Go next ahead. category. History. history. Oh, I was going to pick history. Good thing I didn't. Because I got it right. Traditionally, how many years have a couple been married when they celebrate their pearl anniversary? Pearl? 60? That's too much. 60. Um, yeah, it's 30. Uh, yeah, that, I, I, how am I supposed to know that, guys? Oh, Skip got it right, and he picked that topic. Arts and literature next. Come on, guys. In the Greek myth of Pandora and the box, what is the only thing left in the box when all the evils of the world escape? 
Um, <laughs> love? <laughs> I, I should know this. Hope, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay. If every, if all the evils came out, what would be the only thing left for us? It would be hope, of course. Okay, cool. I've got my second wedge now. Entertainment, Entertainment guys. Which fairy tale character suffers from narcolepsy and is a friend of Princess Fiona and in Shrek the Third? <gasps> I know this one. It's Sleeping Beauty, of course. It says it in the name. Everyone got this right. Oh, no. Um, Rip Van Winkle said skip. What a dumb shit. Oh, new category. I have Time to get this to right. Um, sci okay, Clear. geography. Ge Science and nature, I don't know anything about. Which common boy name in English-speaking countries is the most common surname in France. What? Peter or William? No, Peter. Peter? Martin? What? Second most popular is Bernard? What the shish? Alright, whatever. I didn't get bonus points. Sports and leisure. Come on. I can still bring it back. Which of these uh, swimming strokes can you not win a gold medal in the Olympic Games? Um, side stroke? Alright, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's a uh, Pretty good one. Oh, RJ got six in a How row. How about that? How about that? Oh, literature. arts and literature. Next. Who wrote the novel The Da Vinci Code? Um, Stephen King. It's definitely not Stephen King. It's uh, Dan Brown. Uh, damn it. I, I should know that, but I don't. Oh, it's the final Player question. <gasps> oh, what could it be? He's going to pick... Oh, so, oh, okay. Obviously, signs of nature. <laughs> Here we go. Last question. What part of the earth lies between the crust and the outer core? Um, the anastatosphere? No, it's the mantle. I am actually an idiot, guys. All right, so fourth place. I'm third now? Uh, Ernesto? He's now second? Shit. All right, guys. I am losing against a bunch of computers. Oh, no. This is bad. Oh, no. Round. round. Round four now. Uh-oh. What could it be? Um, um. It's Close Call Blitz. Close Call What? Which of these Signoria Weaver's films is the biggest opening weekend? Of the what the shit does that even mean? Uh, Avatar. 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 Oh, I picked Avatar. Screw you guys. Oh, Avatar. Hell yeah. I got it, guys. Oh, unless that's the lowest score. The They'll show's not over what? yet. A head start? That's not fair. As a 2017, which national teams have won the most FIFA Cups? <gasps> oh, I know. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. I mean, France. I mean, Brazil and France. I don't know. France. Brazil. Italy. France is fourth? Wow. Which of these important medical advances happen? Uh, what? Kidney transplant? Pacemaker? I didn't even read the question. Um, oh, cat scan was third. Uh, but no, I put pacemaker, which was second, actually. Ah. All right. There you go. Got my second wedge. Which of these foodstuffs contains the most calories? Uh, stay oh, cheese. Cheese. Got to be cheese. 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 Yeah. Cheese, hamburger, and then steak, and then egg, and then celery. Maybe. All right. Here we go. It's got to be. Yeah. Cheese. There we go. Cheese, hamburger, then steak. Oh, I thought uh, steak would be more. Well, I don't know, actually. One last Ooh, question. Oh, the last round. Here's your last to question. Take control, player four. Player four. Shut up, player four. Which of these books is estimated to be the biggest selling in history? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter's got to be up there. Let's Come on. The amount of dumb kids up. that bought that book. Whoa. Um, it's actually last. The Don Quinox by Miguel de Cervantes. Have you guys read that book? Uh, yeah, I haven't. Anyway, uh, fourth place. Ernesto, ah, I'm not third anymore, but I still am in second. We're getting there, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. I think now is the last round. I think I've lost, guys. Uh, I don't think it. I think it is, honestly. I don't think I'm going to catch up to Skip. <gasps> It's the final round. What's this shit? Look at it. Each category is worth a wedge, uh, and six wins the game. What? That's not fair. It's on the last round. You can pretty much win <laughs> just straight off the bat. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I've learned that this whole game was completely unnecessary, and only the last round is the important one. So, we've got to focus now. Dressed in Halloween costumes for their biggest hits videos. I put Backstreet Boys. I don't know why I did. Oh, I did because it. One I was answer, right. And you're out until <laughs> the next category. Oh, they're out. Oh, okay. Originally called Touch. Um. Uh, Spice Girls. Um. Don't worry. Wow. Each category is worth a win. I got. I got it. I got a win. Oh, damn. Okay, we can pull it back. Games, oh, sports and leisure. All right. We got this. Leisure. Assassin's Creed or Splinter Cell. 
Features Sam Fisher. Okay, that's Splinter Cell. Ah, oh, who but Assassin's Creed? Yeah, that's that's obvious. All right, come on, I gotta get this one right. It's about video games. If I had to get it right, includes the organization, the Third Achillean. I actually don't know. I put Assassin's Creed. Keep going. Wow, we both got it wrong. Uh, features Desmond Miles. Ah, Desmond. Okay, we We've both got, got it right. Battle of the brains. On battle of the brains. Oh no. Okay, concentrate. What could it be? Um, was released earlier, uh, 2002, Assassin's Creed 2002, I remember that, yeah? Who's it uh, includes the organization As, 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 Abstergo, yeah, that's Assassin's Creed, I remember that, I remember Abstergo, yeah, yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Last question. Last got it question right. Oh, we got the wedge. It's history. history. Martin Luther King or Martin Luther um, wrote the 95 thesis. Martin Luther? Yeah. Uh, what was the youngest person to receive a Nobel pri Peace Prize? Peace Prize? Got to be Martin Luther King if it's a Peace Prize. Who's oh! It going to be? Does that mean I won? I did it. I won. <laughs> Six wedges. That means. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a we have a winner! Thank you guys! I told you I'm smart! You thought I was an idiot! You thought I couldn't do it, but I proved it! Hell yeah! Oh yeah, show me my sauce! But there you go, guys! Alright, look how great I unlocked two tiles during this game. What? Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna end the video there. That was me playing Trivial Pursuit. I hope you enjoyed. I told you I am smart. Leave a goddamn like because I did it and won first place. Either way though, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye!